The next, if you read a specification, they usually have there the SG or the specific gravity. <coughs> specific gravity. What is the specific gravity? Yeah, the weight per gram or the weight, what, yeah, weight per volume. Yeah, weight per gram, yeah, weight, weight per volume. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bought it. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's completely different. Yeah, it's the density or the, yeah. So one, one gram of water yeah, at room temperature, we'll measure one cc, which is the same as one milliliter, yeah. So in our 200 kilo drum, yeah, I've called it a 200 kilogram, I'm going to say it's a 200 liter drum now. How much water can I get in there? <coughs> yeah, 200 kilos. So I get 200 kilos of water. How about ethanol? Yeah. The specific gravity of ethanol? 0.8, yeah. 0.8, yeah. So it weighs 0.8 grams, yeah, so the number will be 0.800, yeah, like that, for the specific gravity. And how much can I get into my 200 litre drum? 160, yeah. And for your information, many citrus oils are around about the point, the point 0.8 as well, yeah. So generally when we buy citrus oils, if we have a, a drum, load, drum, we can only get in 160 ki 60 kilos. Yeah. Cedarwood oil, think woody oils, many of our other materials, around about the one gram per litre. Other materials that are a little bit heavier, yeah, DPG, DEP, coming around uh, about 1.1 gram per litre or 1.1000. How much can we get into a drum? It's the other way around. 220, yeah? Yeah, 220, yeah. And generally speaking, our, the materials we use in perfumery range in those numbers. Yeah. What does it tell us about the quality of the oil? Not a lot. <laughs> yeah. But of course, if, you're, if you think about this as you're making perfume and you're bottling perfume, yeah. Generally speaking, it's much nicer to weigh things rather than to measure them. Why? More consistent, yeah. Because if the temperature increases slightly, things expand. Yeah, liquids expand. Yeah. So if you can use grams when you're using production, but how do we normally sell bottles of perfume? By volume. By volume, yeah. So the, that calculation, the specific gravity, yeah, helps you de decide how much of the perfume you need in weight to fill your bottles in milliliters. No, not for Jasmine Absolute. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, um, so what's the no, the, you use? oh, you, uh, you, you, can, you can buy things nowadays in 10 grams, 100 grams. Buy from perfume as well, we'll, send you one, we'll sell you one gram yeah, of any material. Yeah. Yes, yeah. 
But if we want to buy, if we want to buy uh, PEA from Simrise, minimum order four tons. <laughs> so, <laughs> friends, <laughs> friends, yeah, friends and brokers, yeah, yeah, and dealers, yeah. Some things we we do buy from uh, direct from people like Givadan, but they have minimum orders, yeah. And Givadan are quite nice actually because they they'll, they'll sell you they'll sell you one kilo, but their minimum order is four hundred dollars per material or something like that, four hundred euros maybe, yeah. So if it if the material costs ten dollars if you buy in bulk and you buy one kilo it's four hundred dollars. <laughs> If you buy 200 kilos, then maybe it's only $400 too. <laughs> yeah. So, minimum packaging is a, is a problem when you're buying materials. <laughs>